I want to teach you today how to take the matching template and make it a little bit digital. Um, it's intended for print, right? It's intended to, this is an example of what I've created with it so they can manipulate the pieces. But I know sometimes we don't have time to print, laminate, and do all the things. So I'm going to show you one way to make this resource digital. I'm going to go to the page where it has all of the pieces. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my mouse and I'm just going to highlight all the pieces just like that so that they are all highlighted. I'm using my keyboard to press control copy. I'm going to go to file, open a new document, a blank presentation. And now I have blank presentation <clears throat> where I want the slide size to go from widescreen to standard size. So I went to design, slide size, and then I'm going to do standard. Um, so it just pulls it in a little bit. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can also do uh, 11 by eight and a half to kind of make it the size of a paper. That's fine too. I'm going to go ahead and delete the text boxes that are on the page themselves. I'm going to press control paste and now all of the pieces are there. Notice that they go a lot longer than the slide, so I'm going to want to revise that. And also, they, we're gonna move them up. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight these three, and move them up. Highlight these two, move them up, just so it's a little bit tighter. And move them up. I'm actually going to take out one of the options for this um, just because five fit nicely on the page. So I'm going to take out the sixth option. So now they're all on the page. I am going to go ahead and speed through this. I'm going to type in my um, different equations. So I'll show you how to do one. Um, I have my text highlighted. I'm going to insert an equation. And then I'm going to take the equations from this one, just because I've done them already. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, so when I'm typing the equation, I inserted right here, and then I t clicked equation. And now I just go ahead and type the equation. Close. Um, I'm going to go back to equation, the equation editor, because that has the division sign right here. I might make it bigger or make the text smaller, either one, and then my answer's over here. All right, now that I've filled all of the pieces in, we're ready to get started on making the actual digital resource. Um, for this, I might want directions at the top of the page, or you can always put directions off to the side of the page if it is a digital resource, because they are going to have the slide and the side of the page. I tend to use the side of the page for directions or for my own purposes like this. Um, all right. So if you need to make these smaller, if you want directions at the top of the page, I went ahead and highlighted all of them just by using my mouse and drag. I'm going to press shift and then I'm going to move them down. So that just shrinks them down a little bit and then you can adjust the, um, pieces if you need to and that way you have room at the top of the page if you need it okay now I want the pieces to be separated um, because right here this is the answer key right so all of these equations this this is their answer so I'm going to duplicate the slide I'm going to keep the answer key for myself and I'm going to then so I'm going to duplicate the slide twice just to show you. Okay, so I'm going to, I right clicked on the side here where the thumbnails are and I clicked duplicate slide. You could also use control D, which also would duplicate the slide on the side as well. For this slide, I'm going to delete. Um, actually, first I'm going to ungroup anything that's grouped at the moment. So I'm going to go highlight them. I'm going to right click group ungroup. I want to make sure all these pieces are separated at this point. I want to make the base piece. So I'm going to take all of the right hand side pieces and I'm going to delete them. 
remember you have them on another slide so <laughs> make sure you duplicate the slide before you delete them um, and this one seems to be grouped still so I'm gonna right click group ungroup and delete that slide so now this is your base this is the the slide um, picture directions so I would insert a text box up here and I would say add directions up here all right you can make them bigger make them smaller you can insert arrows if you want to have um, pointing to one of the sides of the directions okay then we're gonna we're gonna take this one and then we're gonna make a picture so we're gonna use this as our base after we've added our directions onto it so I'm gonna go to file save as and you're gonna pick someplace on your desktop um, okay and I'm gonna say um, matching order of operations slide one just to show me that that's the slide that um, I am using as my base I'm gonna change the file type uh, to PNG and I'm going to save it and I'm gonna say just this one because I only want the first slide saved now I'm going to insert a new slide delete all that then I'm gonna to go to design format background so design format background I want a picture background I want to insert from a file and here is the matching template right here okay so now what I did there is I saved it as a picture so the students can't edit this page at all so these pieces are stuck there okay so now really I'm done with this slide unless you want to save it to edit later all right now I want to work with these pieces I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this one was grouped still so I'm gonna right click ungroup all right I'm gonna delete this half of the because we've already worked with it right the first half the equation part of it so I'm gonna delete it well, this one's still grouped so right click ungroup and delete that one okay and then these pieces I want saved as pictures as well so the students can't edit them um, if you want the students to edit them then that's a different way to make a digital resource I'm going to highlight this so I have oh, it's already grouped for me it looks like you want to make sure that the two pieces are grouped together so what you when you save them they are they save as one unit so I'm gonna highlight that one I'm gonna right click actually I'm just gonna press my uh, use my keyboard you can right click and copy or you can use your keyboard and press control copy now I'm gonna go to my picture ones this is the final one and I'm going to right click on my mouse and I'm gonna save it paste it as a picture right here paste it as a picture now they can't edit that eight anymore it's saved as a picture it's one unit it's movable piece and they can um, align them that way so I'm gonna put it over here I'm gonna do the same thing for each one of these pieces so I'm gonna highlight them it's just the two pieces that are highlighted I'm gonna right click I'm gonna group I'm gonna control C control and then I'm gonna paste that as a picture I'm gonna mix up the pieces so that they um, are gonna to have to rearrange them I'm gonna do the same thing for 10 control C paste and then go to here nine uh, group control C paste I'll rearrange them in a minute seven group control C and paste okay and now I'm just gonna rearrange them you can add the directions as needed um, you can align them so right now they are pretty aligned but I want to make sure that they're pretty uh, they're exactly aligned so I'm gonna highlight this whole side I'm gonna arrange align and then I'm going to distribute vertically so that way they're spread out looks like they um, might have a bottom piece 
but that's okay. All right, that's how you make a digital resource. So now the, these pieces are movable for the students to move. These pieces are not movable because it's a picture background. I think that is all. You can upload this if you save it as a PowerPoint file. Uh, you're going to want to delete all of these pages for the students, otherwise they can see your see your work. Um, and they're just going to need this page. Um, you can save it as a PowerPoint, and you can also upload that PowerPoint and save it to Google Slides. It will work there as well. I hope you enjoy this digital resource.